hello and welcome to today's video where we are quickly going to look at a firmware versioning and how to update your system. I'm concentrating here on the 1500 PLC and the IO modules of those and also the display but the principle for the other PLCs is very very similar if not uh, the same. So uh, you see I have DIA portal, portal open but um, there is no open project so we can make a firmware update even without having a TIA portal project. We actually don't even need TIA portal. I'll get to that in a moment. In here I want to go online access. I have my my interface here and I can see I have a PLC connected and if I go to online and diagnostics I will see a lot of points. You can only see this many points if you are in the same network as your PLC. My PLC has this IP address, right? Which means this is the part that needs to be the same on my PC and it is the same on my PC. Uh, indicating the subnet, ma subnet mask if it's 255.255.255.0 also the first three uh, numbers in the IP address have to be the same. For the PC and PLC. If they are not the same you won't see as many features. You will see the feature assign IP address where you can actually change the uh, PLC IP address and you um, should set it here to one that is in the same network range as your, PLC, uh, as your PC. So meaning if I have 255, 255, 255, those three numbers have to be the same as on my PC. If you don't know your PC's IP address you can just go, um, you can't really see that. You can just open your command window, which is basically a Windows button and then typing in CMD, hitting enter. And here I can go IP config. I won't hit enter because then you can see my router and everything. This is better. Uh, here we go. We can see this number here is my IP address or one of the IP addresses of my PC. It can have multiple, don't get confused. This is the IP address, uh, the start, the network, 192.168.2. There we go, same. So this is a prerequisite, the most important prerequisite that we have for the uh, firmware update. Now, we can go here to firmware update and you see I, have, I could update the PLC, I can update my local modules, I can update my display. Right? I just have to choose. In this example, I want to update my PLC. I can also see, hey, the firmware version is version 1.8.1. You don't necessarily need to update it, right? Why would you need the firmware update? It's increasing a little bit safety. It's giving sometimes new features. Uh, you should basically keep it as actual as, pos uh, as, as possible. If you don't see any need to update it, you don't need a firmware update. Uh, but I always recommend having the newest version. How can you get to the newest version? Um, I have put a link in the description below. Right? I have put a link in the description below that will open this website here. In this website, you have to be logged in. It's a Siemens support website. If you can't log in, you have to create an account. This might take one or two days because it needs to be manually verified, but it shouldn't be any problem. Uh, making an account and then waiting, and then you can actually access this website here. And you see there's many, many components that we can have firmware update. There's also a lot of information here on the bottom. Uh, also about what firmware version does what. So there is actually differences. Um, yeah, now I would need to search for my S7 1500 CPU, right? That's the link I shared, only for the 1500 CPUs, not for the others. If you are searching for the others, you can also use the link and type in your um, article number here in the search field. And then you should get some, some of the things you find should say firmware download. Click on that, download the firmware, done. So what I would need to do here is download the firmware of my PLC. This is my PLC number here, so I can search for it. Control F, Control V, there we go. Set it already? Very good. Oh, it's already in there. So uh, there's multiple entries, you see. But I, like to, I always like to go to the specific page. I could have downloaded now any of those. You see, 
This is one, uh, version 1.82. It's already newer. I could have the newest is 1.84. I think 1.85 is actually newest I could get. So I could download this here now, which is a whole collection of firmwares. If I go down here, I can select, I only want a firmware for this CPU, which is not a whole collection, but only for the CPU. And there I can find, hey, that's my CPU number. And I can download this zip file. Right, it's a zip archive, you have to still open it, right? you have to open the zip file and take out the two files that are in there. So you will get a zip file that looks like this. You have to open it, you can also unpack it, uh, unpack here, burp, and then I will have two more files, right? those two, uh, and those two I have to now select here in the firmware loader, firmware file. I can browse and I just put it on the desktop and there should be the folder here, Firm, uh, firmware update S7S. I go in here and I see this is the file that's in there. I select it, I see it's no restrictions, it's firmware version 1.85. I had 1.81, if I now click on run update, it's going to ask me, do you really want to load it? If you want to load it, you need to set the PLC to stop. Do you want me to do that? Yes, I want you to do it. Now the firmware is downloading. This could actually take a couple of minutes, right? This could take a couple of minutes. So don't worry, don't hurry. It's giving you the, the progress and everything is going to be fine. If you would have selected the wrong and incompatible PLC firmware here, or for any of your local modules or displays, it would actually say, hey, that's not compatible and you cannot run the update. So you can't break anything right now. So some information while it's doing it, it is actually, we can just see this for the next minute or so. I have put another link in the description below um, that actually explains the steps, how you do it, right? You can either do it online, that's what I am doing with TIA portal. You can also do it offline. You can put the firmware on the SD, on the SMC. It's actually not an SD card, it's a semantic memory card. You can put it on the SMC, shove that into your PC. If you, I don't have a memory card slot, so I can't do that. I uh, shove the PLC memory card in your PC, do that, whatever is there. Uh, using TIA portal or you can even do it without TIA portal. Here we go, which is basically those two files that I have. Uh, those two files that I had on the desktop, just putting them on the memory card and then pushing the memory card into the PLC. Some LEDs will shine and you're done. This is all described in this, uh, in this help link that I shared. Good. You see the firmware was transferred successfully, the module firmware with article number uh, and activated on the module, okay? And now I see the newest firmware version, the newest safety stuff is on my PLC. I am happy, everything is great. I've got new features maybe, there we go, 1.85. I hope this video helped a little bit. Uh, I know firmware versioning and so is not the most thrilling um, and exciting topic, but it is actually important. So if you've got any questions, just leave a comment uh, below. Uh, if it helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.